Let's talk about continuous monitoring. What I want to do is show you a couple of different kinds of controls where you would do continuous monitoring. First of all, let's back up. What is continuous monitoring? If you've been in IT for a while, you know that IT always changes. Information technology, networking, cybersecurity, threats, all that stuff constantly changes. It's not just a one time you learn something and then it stays the same like carpentry or something. This is a field that constantly evolves, constantly changes. And because of that, the organization has to keep up with the technology. Microsoft might have another new operating system. You have to change from the end of life legacy system to a new system. There's a new malware that comes out. It's so deadly that you have to change things immediately. You have to update your patches. Red Hat changes constantly. The internet changes constantly. Threats change constantly. Laws change. Continuous monitoring means keeping up with those changes. What has changed in our environment lately? What new changes do we have to make to the organization to, the, to adjust to the new laws or the new compliance? What things do we have, do we have to do to make sure that we don't have uh, a new hack or something like that? New protections, new cryptocurrency, new uh, encryption, all those kinds of things. So that is what continuous monitoring is for. It's to continuously monitor your environment. Now, that means different things for different controls because you're going to have to do different things for those controls. Let me start off from the top. Let's start off with AC controls. Now, AC control family is about account management. That means making sure that a new person comes on, they have the proper account. When they leave, when they're when they're fired or they're terminated or they go to another position, you have to remove that old account to make sure that nobody can go in and use that account. Making sure that it's disabled, they have the proper roles, they have all that kind of stuff. That's role, that's account management. So how do we manage that for continuous monitoring? First of all, the organization determines when uh, that those changes occur. So this right here, th so this form right that you're looking at is just one example of a form that you could use. And this is an old form that comes from DSS. DSS is where this document comes from. So it, basically what it does is it breaks down. It's a system security plan that's in um, that's in Excel spreadsheet. Now your organization will probably have something completely different from this. Don't worry about the format. It's going to change from place to place you go to. But what I want you to focus on though is how you actually come up with the, the continuous monitoring frequency. How often do we check this particular control? If we're on this particular AC control, if we're on AC1, access control policy procedure, what are we checking continuously? We're probably checking for to make sure that the policy hasn't changed or if there are changes that need to happen, have we made those changes? So we would go through, now these, there are other things, fields here that you have to do implementation statements and is the control done yet? Is it complete? Things like that. But if we go all the way to the end here, you have the frequency. How often do we check this policy? And typically, organizations do this annually, but it's really up to the, they could do it every month if they wanted to. If it was important enough, you could, you could potentially do this every month. So that's what I'm seeing here. And you could see the drop down here. It has semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly. It's really dependent on the org. The organization determines, in the NIST anyway, some of the other security, uh, some of the other security uh, frameworks do this a little bit differently, but typically it's the organization that determines when the frequency is. That's not you as the ISO, by the way. Typically, unless the organization, that means like the CIO comes to you and says, hey, hey, Bruce, hey, hey, new hire, what do you think we should do? What What do you, in your other organizations you worked for, what what was the frequency that they did continuous monitoring? Or, hey, could you write this continuous monitoring statement for us? And what do you suggest the frequency is? They do do that from time to time. They'll ask you for your advice on when, how frequency it, it, frequent it should be. And you will make a determination based off of what the organization's needs and what's the impact to the organization. 
And I'll, you'll see where that impact comes into play. But let's just start off with this one. So what we're doing here is for AC1, which is the policy for account management, we're going to actually, the organization has determined that it's going to be done manually, right? And maybe this, before you got there, they already do this manually. And that just means that they make sure that there's nothing, new, no new changes to the policy that need to happen. Or somebody higher up reviews it annually, and that's, that's good enough. And typically policies, that's how they go. But let me give you something else. It's not a policy. Let's give you something a little bit more technical so I can show you the impact of the frequency because sometimes you don't want the frequency to be too often. One of those might be, well, kind of a less technical, not necessarily technical, but more of a procedural one. Let's, let's do this one here. This is for security awareness training at2 now if i said at1 that would be the policy so that would really fall into the same thing that we did for ac1 which is annually checking to make sure that that policy is good so we would do the same thing for the security awareness training policy if there was if there was a if there was such a thing in our organization hopefully there would be but let's take it down a notch into the weeds a bit this is what do we what are is the organization conducting the security awareness training. That's AT2. Okay. So for this one, frequency is very important because if you're doing this monthly and you have thousands of different people who are doing this and they're very busy, let's say that they're already working a 12-hour shift and they need every hour, every minute of every hour to work. A monthly amount of doing this monthly might be too taxing on the organization and it might not even be necessary and this is why this is determined at a higher level than in the ISO this is typically done at a much higher level so you've got it the organization has to take into account the processes and you can see why you as the ISO as an information system security guy can you see yourself telling the entire organization that everyone must train every week that's beyond your pay grade. This is something that has to be done at a higher level because the the boss, the boss's boss is going to be the one who determines when this happens so that the entire organization can do this in a way that doesn't disrupt regular operations. And that's a very important piece to this. So I'll see you on the next one and we'll deep dive into the more technical aspects of continuous monitoring.